Beer Review, take 27. Welcome back guys, you're watching All The Beer No Idea. I'm Baz, as you can tell from that previous bit, I've been going at this video about bloody, I say 27, seven, eight times, I just can't, you know, all seems to be going tipped up. Anyway, uh, next beer up was kindly sent to me from John Charnock, uh, Charnock, Charnock, John Charnock, a subscriber. Should we go again or should we just carry on? We'll roll with it. John Charnock kindly sent me three beers in. This is the second one of three. It's from a brewery local to him, Nail Maker Brewing Co. And this is their Americana Pale Ale, uh, single hop pale ale, Chinook hops, uh, coming in at 4% in a 440ml can. Great branding. I do love that. Great branding. Uh, I believe all these cans were £2.75, he messaged me uh, to tell me. So, you know, hopefully they warrant the price. Uh, the first one was quite nice. As I said in the first uh, video, the Mango Magic Mosaic, it was almost one that I shouldn't have liked, but I couldn't help but like it. it was, there was just something there that I enjoyed. Uh, it, you know, it just suited the time that when I had it. So, uh, hopefully... This one will be nice as well. So thank you very much, John. Also, uh, a thank you. I can't remember what her name was now. Alison something, I believe. I do apologise if I'm wrong. But I believe they've started following my Facebook page and they actually work at Nail Maker Brewing Co. So much appreciated. Thank you for taking an interest. So without further ado, I'll stop rambling on. We'll get this beer open. Get it out of the can, get it into a glass and see what we get. Oh, shit. Apart from... Excuse my French. <laughs> a rather lively one, but I suppose I've been throwing the beer around. It is rather lively, so I'm going to have to take this nice and easy. But it really does seem to be uh, creating a big head there, even though I'm trying not to be too vigorous with the pour. Clearly, I excited the beer too much in the can. Wanted to come out, so we'll leave that for a bit. Like I say, Nail Maker Brewing Co. from Barnsley Way. Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, somebody who works there was kindly subscribed to, well, don't, not subscribe, but certainly join my Facebook page, I believe. So uh, yeah, I hope I do the beers justice. Uh, first one was great. So we'll see if this will settle down a little bit more. Probably won't. I'll just, I could sit here for ages, but I'm just going to shut the hell up and get on with it. So, yeah, beer in a glass. Half and half we got there. Rather large head, rather lively. Uh, hazy sort of pale lemon sort of colour. Uh, I think it's a little bit similar to what the, the Mango Magic was really, looking wise. Uh, quite a bit of carbonation going up the glass. Again, this glass doesn't generally create a lot of uh, carbonation. So I'm guessing their beers are quite carbonated just in general. We'll give this a swirl, dive in on the nose and see what we get. I had a feeling that was gonna go. Whoosh. Ooh, lemon. A little bit of pininess in there. Yeah, big sort of lemon aroma I'm getting myself. Bit of grapefruit as well. Quite light. It's almost got, almost got like a a, a, a lager pills and stuff, sort of a little bit of aroma there. Smells quite light. Uh, yeah, smells alright. Doesn't smell offensive or anything. So without further ado, this could be fatal. I'm going to try and put a bit more in there just in case there's a little bit in there. But it's probably going to be a mistake. So without further ado, let's dive in. Cheers, John. And uh, let's hope for two out of two. Hmm. Interesting again. Interesting. We'll try and get some more in there. So, let's go again. Again, this one, like the Mango Magic uh, Mosaic Pale Ale. Thin in the mouth. Again, American Pale Ale. 
thin in the mouth for me personally, but I think that comes with the style of the beer. This is maybe a little bit heavier than the Mango Magic one. Carbonation, there is quite a lot in there. It's not offensive. Mouthfeel, not particularly smooth. You say when beers are, 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 when they're quite thin in the mouth, if you like, and carbonated, the mouthfeel is never, it, it, it's never gonna be smooth and soft. But the carbonation is nice actually in it. Taste wise, I'm getting lemon. Excuse me. Lemon is the big flavour for me. A bit of grapefruit in there. There's almost a, a, a sweetness in there as well. It's almost like sweet lemon maybe. Maybe a little bit sherbetty. And I like it. I do like it. Again, we say about a lot of these beers in reviews that too light in body, over carbonated. Uh, sometimes they can lack a bit of flavour. And in a sense, in a sense, the two beers I've had from Nailmaker, excuse me, are quite thin. I'm not going to deny they're quite thin. They're well carbonated. Maybe too over carbonated, you could say. And the flavours don't punch you in the face. They don't knock you out. Excuse me again, I do apologise. But the flavours in there are nice. And there's something in this and the last one that I had that make me like them. And I, I actually find this one, the flavour in this, is lovely. It really is lovely. There's a, as I say, a sweet lemon sherbet-y taste to it. Not sour. There's no real bitterness in there. A little bit of grapefruit in there. I think it did say something about pine on the can. Did I say something about pine? Pine to the nose and palate. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily getting the pine on the palate. Maybe an inkling of it, but it's really well balanced in flavours and I find that really enjoyable. Again, it's not necessarily one you would pick up and go, wow, this blows my mind. Because uh, there's lots of little bits in there you could sort of criticise maybe. But it just goes to show that if you open your mind a little bit and you don't follow what craft beer should be, supposedly, there's some nice beers out there and I'm actually finding the two that I've had from Nailmaker are very nice. Uh, again, I think this this one is certainly better than the Ma uh, Mango Magic for me. Uh, so yeah, a thumbs up for this one. Really enjoyable. Uh, it maybe shouldn't be as enjoyable as it is. I don't know. But for me, I like it. I like it. It's a nice, easy, refreshing 4%. It's not too heavy as you'd expect as well with the percentage. You're not going to have a, a big heavy beer. But for me, this is a thumbs up for me. Uh, easy going sort of craft style beer. And, and if you're getting into like the craft beers, a lovely introduction to it. So uh, yeah, thank you very much, John, for this beer. Uh, if you've had this beer before, let me know what you think. Apologise for going on so long. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back with another beer review very soon. Cheers.